What is up? Another quick episode. Uh, still don't have time to work on the Corvette. Um, taking a little bit of a break from the shop right now and uh, trying to deal with a really bad squeaking noise on the truck from whenever I put the uh, polyurethane bushings in it. And uh, took it apart earlier this week and figured out what the squeak was. I'll show you exactly what that is here in just a minute. But um, ended up, I'm going to have to replace the control arms. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. And what's really cool is you can hop on Amazon and you can order the whole stinking control arm with bushings and ball joints and everything for a hundred and something bucks shipped to your door. And not just one, two. So that's what I'm going to knock out real quick. Um, it should take me an hour. We'll see how long this takes, but it is 2.30 right now. I got out here, put the truck on the lift, so maybe about 2.15 is whenever I started. We'll see how long it takes me to knock this puppy out. So here's the culprit. Here's the root of our squeakiness. Every time I hit a bump. So what's happening is actually not what you think. It is not the bushings that are causing the problem. It is right there. So there's a there's a uh, sleeve that goes through the bushing it presses up against there uh, with this tightening against it same thing on this side and what is happening is that sleeve is actually spinning on this metal thing and so it's metal on metal on metal and different things are moving this washer is moving um, the collar is moving against this washer it's like it I even tried welding these collars to make sure they are not moving and they are not moving um, and then whenever i crack these loose the noise goes away and whenever i take these completely off and i examine what's going on the collar is actually spinning with the bushing no matter how much lube i've put down in there and so these energy suspension bushings for this particular vehicle just aren't designed well enough you have to use too many old components mixed with new components, and so we're going to bigger and better ones. And by the way, there is a right and a left. I'm at about 10 minutes so far, and I'm about to have the uh, driver's side put back together and finished. Wrapping up the Dakota, about to put the wheels back on it, and it is 3.20, so just a hair more than an hour. Uh, having the right tools, having a lift, having, uh, you know, overhead jacks and stuff like that really comes in handy. Having some know-how comes in handy as well. For instance, like, when your biggest pry bar doesn't work, why bother? Go straight to the biggest pry bar. <laughs> uh, you know, these things, you usually have to pry down on them to get the uh, bushings to rotate enough so that you can get that nut in there. But then also, mine has these bump stops that have to get squished as well. So, um, you know, just some little tips and tricks. Like, get a big freaking pry bar if something's not working the way you want it to. Uh, something that I also thought about that I don't think I've ever shown is uh, when I got my truck, the uh, splash guards were actually gone. And a lot of stuff up in there was rusted, including the brake lines, which run right there which uh, i try to get you but the brake lines are right there and they were rusted solid i actually had some problems with that so i actually just went to home depot and got me some rubber floor runner um, and some of these little plastic push tabs off of ebay and just made some splash guards to keep all of the crap out of my engine compartment and they have worked flawlessly for years um I put those in there three years ago, I think, whenever I first did the engine rebuild and all that stuff. So anyway, quick break from the shop work so that I could get my shop truck done uh, because I kind of need this thing for lots of stuff. And whenever I pull up in the parking lot and somebody's already there waiting on me at the shop, which happens more often than you think, people are there waiting on me to drop off their car, waiting on me to get their um, car dynoed or something like that. And when I pull up with a truck that's going ear, 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 it kind of makes me look bad. So I got that finished. Uh, it is a true shop truck. I uh, drive around with it all the time doing all kinds of stuff for the shop. But uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up there. You guys have a good one. I'll see you later.